Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. This is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This is the day that the Lord has made. I am rejoicing. I am glad in it. I praise God for you joining in with us today. This is our Fresh Fire daily prayer series, and we're praying about hope in hard times. That's right. God gives us hope in hard times. And so each day we're reading a passage of scripture that speaks to us about the hope that is contained in God's word. And then we're going to pray the principles and the promises of his hope back to God, believing that God will be no shorter than his word. And so today is day number eight of us praying about hope in hard times. And I'm grateful for you joining us today. I pray these scriptures and these prayers will be an encouragement to you. Today we're going to be reading from Psalm 78 and verse 7. Psalm 78 and verse 7 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God. Here's what the Word says. So each generation should set its hope anew on God, not forgetting his glorious miracles and obeying his commands. Amen. So each generation should set its hope anew on God, not forgetting his glorious miracles and obeying his commands. So today, as we get ready to pray, we're going to pray for three things from seven, Psalm 78 and verse 7. First of all, we want to pray that we will set our hope on God in this generation. Secondly, we want to pray that we will not forget God's miracles. We won't forget his past deliverances, his past healings, the past miracles that he's done. And then thirdly and finally, we want to pray that we will obey God's command in this generation. Amen. Amen. Come on, let's pray. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, we come to you this day, Lord, declaring that you are God and you are great and you are greatly to be praised. God, we magnify you. We glorify you. Lord, we lift you up and we praise your holy name. Jesus, thank you for giving us salvation in your name. Thank you for your death and burial and resurrection from the dead. Jesus, thank you that you are alive forevermore. And Lord God, today, as the psalmist said in Psalm 78 and verse 7, we are setting our hope upon you. Lord, you know the hard times that we face. You know the difficulties that we have to go through. You know the trials and troubles that we are up against. But God, we afresh and anew today set our hope upon you. Lord, we thank you that the previous generations that came before us found their hope in you, our mothers and fathers, our grandparents, Lord, and our great-grandparents and our ancestors down through the years and through the generations, Lord, have set their hope upon you. But Lord God, we come today confessing afresh and anew that our hope is in Jesus Christ. Our hope is in his death, burial, and his resurrection. Our hope is based upon your faith upon your word, for faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And our hope is the faith is the substance of the things that we hope for. And Lord God, we stand upon that faith that is based upon your word and we hope and we set our hope in you. Lord, help us to be reminded of your miracles and your miracle working power, how you have delivered in the past, how you have set free in days before, how you have given fresh life and new life in your name to those who have set their hope upon you in previous generations. Lord, let us not forget your miracles nor your miracle working power. But Lord God, you are the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. You do not change. So Lord God, the same power that delivered in the past is the same power that would deliver today. So we praise you and glorify you for your miracle working power. Lord, somebody needs a miracle to happen in their life. Somebody needs you to move in their life. They're hoping and believing and trusting in you, oh God. And I pray you will show up and you will show out in that situation that you might get all the glory and all the honor that you so richly deserve. Then, Lord, our prayer today is that as we set our hope upon you and as we remember your miracle working power, that you would help us, you would empower us, Lord, to obey your commands, that whatever you've commanded us to do as men, we would do it. Whatever you have commanded us to do as women, we would do it. Whatever you would command us to do as children, Lord, 
we would be obedient to your commandments. Lord, you commanded us to love you with all of our heart, all of our mind, and all of our soul. You commanded us, O oh God, to love our neighbors as ourselves. Oh Lord, help us to fulfill those commandments today. Lord, fill us with your Holy Spirit that we might worship you today in spirit and in truth. Fill us with your Holy Spirit, Lord, that we might look upon our neighbor's needs and meet their needs even as you have met our own needs. God, help us to obey your commandments, to do your will on earth, even as it is in heaven. And Lord, we bless you and praise you for the hope that we have in you. And Lord, our hope in you will not disappoint. For we know, Lord God, you have the power to bring what we believe you to do to pass. So Lord God, we rest in your hope. We trust in your hope. We, we live in your hope. And we believe victory for the life of your people. It is in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Church family, today we pray from Psalm 78 and verse 7 from the New Living Translation of the Word of God says, So each generation should set its hope anew on God, not forgetting his glorious miracles and obeying his commands. I want you to go in the hope that is in Jesus Christ today. Let someone know that New Horizons Church and Pastor Wiggins are praying for their hope in hard times. Please share the channel with someone else. We'll be back tomorrow to pray with you and to pray for you. I love you in the Lord. Be victorious. God bless.